Hey, welcome back to the channel. I am really glad you're here. I am standing here in the rain because I thought this would be a good opportunity to share some ideas with you if you ever get your tractor stuck and you're alone, you don't have any other equipment around. So stick around, literally. Now something not too uncommon would be getting the front end of the tractor too close to a ditch and you end up sliding into the ditch and you can't get out. So this is probably the most basic example of getting your tractor stuck. So there are a couple things to keep in mind. First of all, you want to make sure that your back implements are up as high as they can go. You want to lift your front end loader up off the ground. Now you want to put your tractor in four wheel drive and you want to put the gearbox in low gear so that you're not really spinning your tires too much. Now with that, you might be able to back out simply with four wheel drive. Let's give that a shot. As long as you haven't broken traction and you don't spin your tires and get them gunked up with mud, you're in good shape. But now let's say that, uh, well, you didn't put your tractor in four wheel drive and you spun the back tires. See if I try and back out in two wheel drive, you can see it's just not, it's just not pulling out and it's digging deep into the mud. So that's why four wheel drive is so important. And even spinning all the tires, it's still having a bit of a hard time. Let's make this a little bit more challenging. Now, if that doesn't do the job, remember that your tractor has a diff lock. In this tractor, it's right here on the left, and I just step on it with my left foot. And what that does is it locks the two back wheels together as one solid axle. So now you basically have two drive wheels. Your front still has one drive wheel, whichever one has the least amount of traction. Uh, but step on that. Don't do it while the wheels are moving. You have to be stopped when you do that, or you could break a gear. So you engage that. Now I've got increased traction. Both back wheels are spinning. And if I rock it back and forth, no good. Even that's not working. So we've tried four wheel drive, that didn't work. We tried the differential lock, that didn't work. We are officially stuck. So if you have a front end loader, and you probably do, don't forget that this can be a tool as well. If you take this front end loader, you can use it basically as a pusher. So I'm gonna rev it up a little bit. Start to go back, and I'm slipping. So now, use that bucket, tilt it forward, put it down like this. You can take the weight off the front of the tractor, and while you're moving backwards, you can curl the bucket, lift and curl. Now I'm gonna hold the brake, reposition the bucket, Get another bite on it. Pushing myself out of the out of the ditch here. We got it. Remember that four-wheel drive and diff lock can be your best friend. This is a pretty severe 
incline that I'm stuck on, but I'm holding the diff lock, I'm in four wheel drive, it's spinning, but it's still climbing out. Boy, I've really done it this time. I've driven the tractor down this steep embankment. It's muddy and I'm stuck. And as you can see, it's not coming out in four wheel drive. I'm pressing down on the diff lock. And I'm just spinning and making things worse. So this is an example of using the front end loader bucket to try to push myself out. I hope this works. Keep in mind, make sure your ROPs are always up and your seatbelt is attached because you could quickly overturn a tractor. I'm right here next to another ditch, drainage ditch, where my front wheel could fall into that and the tractor could tip over. So make sure that safety is really a priority. So I'm gonna keep it in four wheel drive, low gear, holding down the diff lock with my left foot. I'm gonna use this bucket to try and push myself out. So while I'm going backwards, I'm pushing the front of the bucket out. Again, I hold the brake. Now remember, tractors only have rear brakes. You don't have front brakes. So you could easily slide right back into place because you don't have a whole lot of braking traction. So I'm pushing back. I am not moving. There we go. There we go. Just keep walking it back. Until we finally get traction and get out of here. So if you do get your tractor stuck, don't panic. If you don't have a winch or a come along or another vehicle to help you out, use some of these tips to try and get out. First and foremost, make sure you practice safety. Remember, keep your ROPs up, keep your seatbelt attached because Tractors are kind of inherently top heavy anyway, especially these compact tractors. You don't want anything happening. And if you're in the mud, again, that ground can give way and you can turn over before you know it. So be really, really careful. But use these tips, use that front end loader to your advantage. Remember to use four wheel drive, low gear, and use that diff lock. Sometimes we forget that that's there and that can increase your traction by, I don't know the math, what is it, 50% or so? But it can increase your traction tremendously. So use those tips. There are plenty more out there, but these are just a couple examples that I came up with today. And I don't feel like being out in the rain anymore. So thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you've not yet subscribed on YouTube or followed on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, I invite you to join us. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next time. <laughs> My wife's gonna love this.